the, the reality is, is sometimes it's, it's when you start getting bigger, you, you can actually make the beer you want to be making. Your quality mm-hmm. control is better. You, you, you get access to all these different things. That's one of my experiences right now with this past week at Sonder. It's wild. You know, Chase, Chase has a background from uh, New Glarus. He, he spent a ton mm-hmm. of time at New Glarus and, and they make a ton of beer. And so to see the stuff that he's implemented in that brewery there, me coming from p- primarily a pub side, you walk into that and you're like, oh, man, dude, I, I can do things so many different ways. I can be more efficient. I can be cleaner. Yeah, I can be sterile. You know, mm-hmm. like things like that actually start to come into play. And so sometimes that's the ironic thing where, you know, a lot of times, I mean, it's at least possible as as places grow, they're probably mm-hmm. making the beer they actually want to be making. And potentially it's it's a technically better beer than it was before, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So And it's yeah. Quality means two different things depending on your size. When you're a tiny little brewery and you never brew the same thing twice and you make whatever you want, quality is just making delicious beer every time. Yes. When you're a regional brewery and you've got flagships, quality is consistency. Yeah. It's about making the same beer the same every single time. And it's as good every single time, no matter who has it, wherever they have it. Um, And that's a completely different skill set. Um, from just making tasty recipes and, sure. and making delicious beer. Um, especially when you're not the only one brewing it, you've got a team of, you know, 15 doing it and all 15 of them need to, you know, be aligned and, and have the same training to make the same beer. And it's, it's a totally different game. Um, but that's, that's, I think, where regional breweries kind of can settle into a good place and you know and you talk about your bells and your founders and your firestones and like big big breweries right you know they're fans the beer nerds from the early days oh they sold out whatever they're adored in craft people look up to them obviously they still sell a ton of beer because they never gave up on quality sure they grew and you know they made money and they spent money but they never gave up on quality. They're always striving to be better. They're always striving to innovate. And so after you, you know, you fall out of fandom with the nerds and then you get big, but then you kind of get into this new zone where people, you just become the go-to beer. Sure. Right. And that's kind of, you know, where we, where we see truth is these days, our flagship IPA, it's, it's everywhere. And, you know, you're looking at, you know, 20, 30 beer taps, a bunch of new breweries you've never heard of, a bunch of weird new styles that you've never heard of. Okay. Do I really want to spend seven, eight bucks on something that might be good? Sure. Or do I just want something I know is going to be good 